Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about transparency and the single person business. All right, so earlier this week I did episode 571, which was about our app revenue for 2018. And that's the one where I took our daily revenue spreadsheet where we break down the, the income on a daily basis from AdMob and Google Play in-app purchases and iOS. And I basically gave the summary for the entire year of 2018 and how much money we made through those passive sources, right? And a lot of you guys, also contributed in the comments. I really appreciate that, talking about how much you've made. And a lot of you guys, are, it's pretty similar to me. And some of you guys are a bit more, some of you guys are you know, less, but it was, it was just nice that we could all do that. And there was a lot of really good, very flattering comments about transparency there. Some people saying, thanks for being so transparent. Uh, like uh, Nikolai Ram saying, thanks for your honesty. It's very calming, calming to hear this from an established developer. And a lot of talk about, thank you for being honest. Thank you for being transparent. And it made me feel really good. But I have to admit, I haven't always been transparent. I started thinking about it, thinking about, yeah, it's good that it's nice to do that. It's just so liberating to say, hey, this is how much I make, this is what we do, you know, we're not millionaires, we don't have Lamborghinis and, and big garages, all this stuff, it just it is what it is. That's how much we make. Hopefully we make more next year, uh, but we're still, and that's why we do client work too, is to, you know, it's to supplement that and everything too. So it's, it's nice to do that, but I haven't always been that way, right? I wanted to talk to anybody out there who's running a one-person company because for the longest time, Overpass was just, you know, this guy right here when I set it up. And for a long time, I always try to make it sound, look like a bigger company. Let's talk about the lack of transparency here, right? When I set up the company back in 2004, I did like, a, I, I talked about this before, I did like a lot of people do, where I set up a website and I said, I got my business cards and then I waited for the phone to ring. And of course, nobody rang because, you know, I wasn't doing any sales. I wasn't going out. I wasn't, I wasn't going outbound to get anybody. I wasn't advertising. I wasn't doing anything. I was just hoping somebody would find the website. And on the rare occasions when somebody would find it, I would try to make it sound like a bigger company. In fact, even the website itself was like a lot of one person websites where I was, I tried to make it sound like a bigger company. There was nothing about me particularly, but it was all we. We do this, we do that. You know, Overpass, we're you know, professional developers plural and everything, even though I knew it was just me. And the website had stock images everywhere, named every technology under the sun. You know, you, you've seen these websites before. Just Google you know, developers and you'll see them everywhere. So it was, it was very much like trying to make it look like a big company. And I, and I talked about this before, I even had the virtual office so that I had the London address so that if somebody did want to mail me a letter, it would go to this London address and then they would forward it to, to me over here in, in Oxfordshire really dumb. So when somebody would call up, I'd try to, you know, yeah, yeah, it, and I'd be working from home and it would call up and, and I would stress out because my kids were small and it would make a lot of noise. I, I want to sound like I'm working in an office, shh, shh, keep it down and everything. And it was like, it was really, really stressful because I was trying to make it sound like something it was. This was a, a total lack of transparency. All those people that you see online who say that they've got these, you know, their big garages or they, they make a fortune selling online course. I, I see all these ads all the time because of the stuff I watch. So I get, I go down the rabbit hole on drop shipping or, uh, or course selling all this kind of digital products, you know, eBooks or whatever, right? You go down that, you see these people with these big claims and they don't, they're not transparent. They don't really show numbers or you, you doubt their transparency. And that's what I was when I started up the company. Right. And finally, after God, eight, eight or nine years because I was working contracts because I couldn't get any work. So I was working contracts because Overpass wasn't taking off the way it should. Finally, I got to the point where I just said, I just decided I would just be honest about it. So when people call up, say, yeah, it's just me. It's, I'm Eric. I make apps. So I stopped saying things like, yes, I'm Eric Ruley, the president and owner and CEO and founder of Overpass worldwide or whatever. It's like, no, I'm Eric, I make apps. And then when I started saying that, no, it's just me uh, you know, and, I, and I work with other developers overseas. It's funny that I stressed about it so much. I, I stressed so much that people would find me out that I was a one person company that when they did find out, nobody cared. I mean, nobody cared. I was afraid that they would find out that I was not a business person and I was just a software developer. 
but that's what they were looking for. They were always looking for a software developer. And, and, I, and I cringe with embarrassment when I think about the years where I tried to make it look like the company was bigger than it was. And you know, where, where it was just me. It was just me for the longest time. And when I hired my first person overseas, I, it was a sense of relief because when now when I, out of habit said we, it actually was we. And now we have, a, you know, we have two people here in the office. We've got the team that we work with. Uh, we got the team in the Philippines. We got, you know, uh, developers that we work with in Vietnam and in, in India. And somebody asked on the live stream, why don't we see the people in your office? It's because it's because it's awkward doing it when they're here. That's the real reason. I do it at, you know, sometimes I'll wait till they're not in the office. But I wanted to put this out there because there may be a lot of guys out there who, a lot of you guys who are thinking about starting your own business and it's just you alone, or some of you guys who have your own business where it's just you, and you might be tempted out of this feeling of inferiority, which I had, and which I still kind of have, that just being a one person company is not enough that you might be tempted to make it look bigger than it actually is. And I just wanted to show, share my experiences with that, that once I started being transparent about it, once I just started being open and honest with the clients and prospects, things just got a lot easier, right? They, I didn't have to worry about what I said or if, you know, I wouldn't have to worry about them stopping by the office because if they did stop by the office, like I said, at the time I was working from home or, you know, now we do have an office, but it doesn't have to, we don't have to make it look bigger and everything like that. So. It's just, it's just a lot easier to do. And also just being totally honest with your clients anyway. Like yesterday, somebody asked me, somebody asked me, have you ever done anything with image recognition, right? And the old me, like I probably might have said, oh yeah, sure, we could do image recognition. When I just said, no, we haven't. We haven't done anything with image recognition, but, we've read, but I've read up a lot on it. And, you know, and I would love to work on something like that. And they were happy with it. It was just like being totally open and honest. And it's, you know, it, take, it takes a little bit of get, getting used to it. So the reason I bring this up is because when you guys say nice things, like thanks for being so transparent, thanks for being so honest, part of me feels a tinge of guilt because I remember when I tried to make Overpass seem bigger than it was. And even now, it's a small company. It's still, you know, it's still, it is what it is. It's just, you know, it's growing. We are growing it slowly. It's a lot slower than I thought it would be, but it is. So there you guys, who, those of you guys who set up your own company as, your, as yourselves, don't be tempted to make it sound bigger than it is. It, it just backfires on you and it causes more stress than it, than it, really, than it really requires. So, and like some of you guys probably don't worry about that kind of stuff anyway, but it is, you know, it is. so let me know, have any of you guys ever had that kind of experience where, where you had those, well, actually you probably wouldn't say, you probably wouldn't say when you weren't transparent because it's difficult to admit that. But, uh, but if you want to, go ahead. Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.